Welcome back to Julie's Wreath Boutique. Yes, I know. I, it's a Christmas flower, guys. I don't know what else to say, but you can use this technique any time of year with any type of mesh. So you can make it spring, summer, fall, whatever you want to do. But my friend sent me the prettiest center and with a Christmas gnome. So I want to use it. So let's get started. So let's make a Christmas wreath. I know you're saying, Julie, it's only October, but guess what, guys? You need to order your supplies and you need the time to get ready. So, and a lot of people who like to sell their wreaths, they need the time to get ready for it. So if you're watching this video and Christmas is too early to talk about, listen, I hear ya. Come November before Thanksgiving, I'll start trying to maybe grab my Christmas decorations and start to um, decorate my home. But as a wreath maker, we like to get ready sooner for craft shows and all that kind of thing. So listen, you don't have to do Christmas colors. You could do this technique with summer, spring, or fall colors as well. So just make it whatever season you want, but we're gonna use these colors and this really cute, um, make no mistake, it's Christmas um, wreath center that my friend Veronica sent, sent to me. She has an Etsy shop called Tapsic Designs. She is from Slovakia. I had to think about that for a moment. And um, she sent this to me and I wanted to kind of share it with you. It's so nice and made so well. If you are interested in purchasing any of her wreath centers, the description box will have her Etsy link. But you know what? She also has a group on Facebook that you can join for a small monthly fee to learn how to make all these beautiful designs as well. So check that out as well. So let's get started. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with how to attach this to our wreath frame. If you've been watching me for a while, you ha will have seen me do this many times. I'm just going to take a piece of 22 gauge wire and I'm just going to set, set it in the middle here. I'm going to take some floral pens and I'm going to go right down into the center because it's made out of styrofoam, which is really, really convenient. So I like to put like three and I just kind of put them in there. Okay. You can probably press them in a little bit better than I do, but I have issues with my hands. So I'm going to just take some glue. It would be a really good idea if my glue gun was on. So let's take a break and we'll come back to this. Okay. So while we wait on the glue gun to heat up, yep. <laughs> I'm leaving that part in the video because that's, you know, guys, nobody's perfect. I always try to unplug that sort of thing. And then then I forget. I turned it on, but I didn't plug it in. So there we go. You're going to take this plastic canvas, and this is actually some that came from Hobby Lobby, but I have seen this at Joann's, and um, I also have seen it at the race shop, and I can leave you a link to that. Um, but basically, all you're going to do is take a marker, and I'm going to just draw a line around that. I'm going to cut it out, and then I'm just going to attach it with four inch zip ties. So when I come back, this part will be done. Okay, so in this wreath, we're gonna use like a, an ivory or cream colored poly burlap and a red. And the reason why we're using um, the cream and not really a white is simply because my little wreath center, it has more of an antique-ish look than like a crisp white. So I wanna try to keep within that. Now, if you're wanting to buy some poly burlap, I would check all the three different places that I choose or I shop from which is um, The Reef Shop, Trendy Tree, and Mel's Crafty Mojo. Now, all the links are in the description box below. Make sure to check those out. Those are all great companies to order from. I've never had any issues with them. And so support small business and buy from them. So here is a, an emerald colored green, I believe it is. I've had this for a while. I don't know if anybody has this in stock. So I'm just kind of using what I have. But the green is the only one that I'm going to use the wood burner on. Now, if you've been following me for any length of time, you know that I use a wood burner to cut my mesh or my poly burlap. So basically, you need to wear a mask, be safe, and you need to use like this chisel tip. And I'm going to cut 10 of these at 10 inches long. And I am cutting on a glass cutting board. Make sure that you do not cut on this um mat or you will melt it. So that's really important. All of these tools that I use are in my Amazon shop. Just click on the link in the description box below. So, and then I'm going to just cut this out, but I'm not going to need to do that with the other poly burlap. So I'm going to cut 10 of these and then I'm going to show you how to do the next part. 
Okay, so we have the green all cut. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my rotary cutter. I found this, I wanted to use this a few weeks ago, but this is probably my most favorite one. It's the Olfa brand. Again, it's in my Amazon shop. So basically all we're gonna do here is we are gonna get a nice cut edge here. I'm gonna try to go in between the lines and we're just gonna cut at 10 inches each. And we're gonna cut, oh, I'm gonna cut at least 20 of these because I do believe I'll use at least 20 petals in this wreath. Um, but we're going to cut at least 20 of the off-white and 20 of the red, and then we will start putting them together. And I think my hot glue gun is finally hot enough. So if you don't wanna use the wood burner, there's really no need to do that here. So we're just gonna use this, and I didn't even go between the edges, guys, because the lines it's okay when you when you see the pedal you'll understand okay hot glue gun is now warmed up okay so as you saw before we put three little floral pins there and then I'm gonna take a piece of felt just scrap felt and I'm going to put a bunch of glue down here and I do like to use the gorilla glue sticks I'm gonna add a little bit of glue here as well and then I'm gonna take that and be really careful because that's hot so, and then I'm going to take some of these little, I don't know, they're called tea pens or pins. I know some, sometimes you guys give me a hard time because I don't say it right, but I grew up, a little fun fact, um, Southern Ohio on the border of West Virginia. So if you know where Parkersburg, West Virginia and Belpre, Ohio was, that's kind of where I grew up. So there are some things that I think that I still say that are, um, have a little bit of a twang in them <laughs> and pens and pens it's I gotta make a really conscious effort you know so anyway so I just like to add those little pens in there and it just kind of helps secure it a little bit more and we will just let that dry we'll add one over here well here is what we are going to make now this is kind of a spin off of my lollipop petal but my good friend michelle of a noble touch she has made a scallop what she calls a scallop petal where she takes two pieces of deco mesh and puts them together and makes a really nice petal so what i'm going to do instead of deco mesh i'm going to use this poly burlap but i have a link for a beautiful flower she made this beautiful purple and orange flower with the most beautiful center it's going to be in the description box below. When you're done watching this video, click on that link. Make sure you give my friend Michelle a follow. She is such a good friend of mine and we love to collaborate and to make wreaths together. So watch her video. So let's talk about the wreath frame. I'm using a 10 inch wreath frame. You can get these, if I'm correct, if they still have them, depending on when you watch this video, they may not have them in stock, but um, Trendy Tree does have the 10 inch um, wreath frames back in stock and they have five sections. Um, I know that I've told you guys to go over to Amazon and I have them in my Amazon shop, but those don't always, they're not really consistent with giving you the five sections. Sometimes they give you four sections, so it's kind of hit or miss. But either way, we're gonna start with this one and I put the plastic canvas in the middle. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna actually put the leaves on first, guys. I know, I don't usually do this, but for this wreath, I'm going to make an exception. So I'm gonna take my zip ties. Again, these are in my Amazon shop and I love these specifically. Um, so I'm gonna take this emerald, really pretty poly burlap. I'm gonna take finish side um, in the bottom, finish side at the top, and we're going to do curl side up here. We're gonna meet in the middle and we are just gonna gather, okay? That's what you're gonna do. You're gonna flip it over and then you're just going to kind of put your hand on the bottom one and bring the top one over it so that you're making that single petal is what you're trying to do, okay? So I'm gonna hold on to this and I'm gonna make a second one because we're gonna put these together. We're gonna meet in the middle. I'm gonna gather it. And um, this is not really good because I'm not showing you. <laughs> I need to put the chip clip in this one. All right, so there we go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna layer one over the top of the other. So we have that really pretty four pointed leaf. So we're gonna look at our frame. We have bar one, two, three, and four. And we are gonna start on bar two at the cross bracket. And I'm gonna take my zip tie and I'm just going to place 
my zip tie there and I'm going to attach the two leaf petals together and I'm going to pull really good. Okay. So there's the first one. So I already had one put together and I love to use these chip clips. So let's put another one right here and we're going to use those brackets. Now, if you say, Julie, I don't have one that has the five layers. Maybe mine only has the four, then just kind of like space out the five leaves here. You don't have to have five sets. If you want to do four sets, that's up, up to you. You really, it, it's, it'll be okay. It'll look great. Okay, so we have all of our leaves on our frame. So now we're going to make the petal. For the first layer, we're going to focus on the red as the outer layer and the cream as the inner layer. So basically, it's pretty simple. It's not hard to do. You're just going to make a triangle. It doesn't matter if it's finished edges, whatever. It does None of that matters. So let me put this kind of more out of the way. Okay, so we're just going to make a triangle. Then I'm going to put my hand down on this one and I'm going to make another triangle because this is going to be formed together to make a petal. So what we're going to do is we're going to lay them about an inch and a half. There's about an inch and a half in between there. If we want to, we could go up a little bit more, but about an inch to an inch and a half. All right. I'm going to take the bottom side here and I'm going to just kind of go down to where we're going to come to the bottom. And then we're going to come and bring this one, this tail to the bottom. Okay. Now here's what I'm trying to form. I just want to have like this, I call it my, I call it my lollipop, but, um, Michelle calls it the scallop. So we're going to go with that. And so basically you're just wanting that. That's kind of more of my lollipop petal. And then you've got a little scallop coming up and it's not very thick. Okay. It's pretty thin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a zip tie. So there's a couple things you could do. You could take this and put it on your frame. But what I like to do is I'm going to take a zip tie and I'm just going to, this is a four inch. So we're just going to do that. And it makes a pretty good petal size. Okay. So when you're looking at this petal, it's about four and a half inches from the zip tie all the way to the edge, okay? So it makes a pretty good size petal. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to, because I don't need all of this showing or just kind of in the way, I'm gonna take my cutters here. Now, I have several pairs of cutters in my Amazon shop and I've shown you, I've showed you guys these before. Um, there's even a third pair with a red handle and they're all in stock on Amazon. This yellow pair is, I think, the cheapest one right now, only for $16. And I need to replace my blade, so I'm not going to use that one, but I'm going to use this one. I'm going to show you how easy it is. You're just going to remove the safety lever, and basically it just cuts the bulk of that for you really easily. So that's what I like about that. I got a little stray up there. So basically we're going to make at least, I want to say, we're going to make 15 of these petals. We may not need all 15, but I'm going to make a bunch of these petals and then we're going to put it on the, on the frame. So hold on. Let me show you how to do this one more time. You're going to take the red, make a triangle, take the cream color and you're going to make another triangle. Okay. Again, doesn't have to be perfect. We're going to overlay them and we're going to use our mat. That's a little too close. I'm going to move that down a little bit. And then we're going to take one side and we're going to bring it over here. I'm going to just kind of bring it down and we're going to tie it off and make a really pretty little petal here. All right. And you're just going to work with it. You might, you might have to like pull on it just to make it the way that you want. And then I'm going to take a little zip tie here. If those eight inch zip ties are easier for you, like for me, they are. So I'm going to just grab one. I have issues with my hands, so it's all right. Um, you could use pipe cleaners too, if you wanted to do that and just twist it. Absolutely. And I think that Michelle probably does use pipe cleaners. Okay. So I'm going to just keep making um, at least, we're going to make 15 of these because I know we're going to use them on the inside layer as well. So I'm just going to make a bunch of these and then I will show you how to put them on the frame. 
Okay, so we have our petals made. And so now we're gonna start attaching it to the wreath frame. And basically what you're gonna do is you are going to take a, um, a zip tie here and we're gonna keep as close to that, um, oh, the leaf, the leaves, if you wanna call it like that. And we're just going to attach it above the zip tie that I've already put there. And again, if your hands can handle the four inch zip ties, go right ahead. Unfortunately, mine cannot. So I'm gonna just keep doing this. And I want to try to put three of these. Um, I'm just gonna have to kind of pull at them a little bit to make it all work here. But we're just gonna start putting these on the wreath frame like so. Helps if you have your zip tie in the right direction. <laughs> I'm working from the, I usually work from this side. I'm not really sure why I started on the left side of my wreath here, but let's just turn this over. There we go. Fix that problem. I'm right-handed, so I'm used to doing that. Okay. Add another one. So what I want to happen here is see how this is covering over the the leaf there that's what i want to happen okay so it looks like we're going to probably get in 15 of these petals on the outside of this wreath okay so we're just going to keep going up oh, yep need to do that a little bit tighter i'm going to keep going around here on the same and do the same thing so yes we're going to need a lot more than the 20. you're going to end up cutting the whole roll and making the whole roll of petals. Now, I'm going to, um, the second layer, we're gonna in invert the colors here, and you can kind of pull and make that all lay nice. And I will show you what I mean. So I'm gonna go around the whole wreath here, and then I'll be back, and we will do the next layer, and I'll show you how I'm gonna invert the colors. Okay, so we have our 15 petals. Now with the 10 inch wreath form, we're only gonna need to do two layers of petals because really we only wanna cover, oh, the this portion of the petals. And there's not really enough room. I mean, you could add another layer, but you're gonna need to kind of put them on top of each other. But I wanna get away with using only two rolls, okay? So that's kind of my goal here too, is to kind of make it a little bit more economical for you not to buy four rolls of the mesh. So, so take your ivory or your cream, whatever you wanna call it. I'm going to make a triangle, make a triangle with the red and then lay the red on top this time. And basically, you're just gonna kind of work with it. You're gonna go and bring it down and you're gonna work with it because sometimes it can be a little difficult. Um, I always find that whenever I double up on poly burlap, sometimes it's a little bit harder to deal with, but it is a doable product. And what's nice about this is you're gonna have very few frays, really only what's um, available by the elements here, but the wood burner helps that, so that's good. So you're just going to connect it and then you're going to shape it. Sometimes you have to, some, some of these take a little bit more shaping than others. So that seems to do the job. By the time I put it down, you'll see the back will show a little bit, but that's not a worry because we're not going to see the back. So we're going to take our petal here and we're going to go through the plastic canvas. So our goal here is just to cover just enough. I'm looking on the edge there. And then I'm going to take my center, my pre-made center for me here, that's really gonna just kind of finish off. Yep, that's that will work beautifully. We're going to take our zip ties. And so let's use that as our base. We'll go underneath here and that'll get us started. So that's where I wanna be, all right? So I'm gonna take the next one and again, I wanna make sure that we cover everything, that we're not leaving anything to show there. All right. 
So you're going to keep doing this until we go all the way around. Here, we'll go on this side for this one. I always just like to check, make sure we're covering it. So when we get back, I'll let you know how many, and I'd like to kind of pull these up a little bit, but how many petals we'll need all together. Okay, so we had nine petals on the inside, 15 on the outside. So you're looking at two rolls and you're looking at about 24 petals, 10 of, I really like how I did the leaves. So 10 of the leaves and now we're going to put on a really pretty center again i hope i will have a link to her shop and you can check out her shop my friend veronica from tapsic designs and um this is all it's protected so this is really quite something so i'm gonna put it just right in here i'm gonna find my spots and if you wanted to use um fabric mesh um, or like a deco poly mesh, you know, you could do any of that kind of like the, the, the mesh that looks like a little bit of a, like a fabric and a deco together would be really pretty. Oh, that is so cute. So you're just going to flip it over and you're just going to attach it to the frame here and twist it really good. Oops. I got a little too loose. Let's try that again. All right. There we go. Better connection there. And then I just take my handy dandy cutters here. I cut those and then I just like to kind of stick it back into the frame there. And then what I'll do is I will take my um, piece of felt. Now what I do is I take the, the rim and I just measure it on a piece of felt that I buy. I buy it by the yard at the local craft store where they have fabric. All right, so I like to take my really sharp scissors and I will just put a hole in there and then I'll get my shorter zip ties and I connect it to the frame and I just go around. Now with this, this flower and then I'll cut that. So I'll go around and I don't glue this because you use the frame to hang it. So I'll finish that, but this will be like the top and you're just gonna go through and just kind of play with the petals. And I think that turned out really, really pretty. And, oh, I just think it's so pretty. Now, this is about 23 inches in diameter. You don't have to invert the colors like I did. You could keep it all just the um, the ivory if you wanted to. And you could also do poly burlap and a deco mesh if you didn't have, maybe say you couldn't find the red poly burlap, but you could find red deco mesh. Then just intertwine the two, you know, make them look really pretty and like this one I'm going to pull that one up but I think it's really pretty if you made it this far in the video leave me something that has to pertain to Christmas in the comments below I appreciate you coming back to Julie's wreath boutique and learning how to make beautiful wreaths I hope that you enjoy the process as much as I enjoy teaching you check out my social media it's all in the description box below and the links to where you can find all this pretty mesh and um, all the kind of things that you need to buy, all the different places in my link in the description. I'm getting a little tongue tied here. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you have a fabulous day and I hope you have start getting ready for Christmas. We'll see you next time in Julie's Wreath Boutique. Bye-bye.